Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a charting library in your Ionic Framework Android and iOS mobile application. So there are plenty of charting libraries uh, out in the wild uh, because most of the time nowadays you can find one that uses JavaScript uh, or even AngularJS as well. Uh, for this particular example, I'm going to show you how to use Chart.js and the AngularJS wrapper for Chart.js called Angular Charts. And it's a pretty popular one nowadays, and it works really nice with Ionic Framework, um, and it's really easy to use. Uh, so to start things off, let's go ahead and uh, go into our terminal, and we're going to go ahead and create a new Ionic Framework project on our desktop. It'll just take a second. All right, with the project created, go ahead and navigate into it. And we're going to go ahead and add our uh, build platform. So we're going to say Ionic Platform Add iOS. So this tutorial works for iOS and Android. Uh, you can only do iOS if you are using a Mac computer like I am. Otherwise, you're going to have to stay strictly Android. Um, but uh, for this tutorial, I am going to only show iOS. It does work for Android, uh, but, but I'm only going to demo in an iOS simulator here. All right, with the project created, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download both the Angular Chart library uh, as well as the Chart.js library. Now, of course, you can use Bower to do this, but I know a lot of you are not going to be using Bower, so it's just easier if you download it. So I've already downloaded it. It's on my desktop. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my Ionic framework project that I just created. I'm going to go to www and then JS, and I'm going to copy both chart.js as well as Angular chart, uh, the minified version. And of course, I think chart.js ships with the minified version as well. Uh, that's up to you if you want to use it or not. Uh, you probably should. Uh, so with the two JavaScript files in the JavaScript directory, go to your CSS directory and copy over the Angular chart CSS file. Uh, so the, the files are now in your project. Now you want to actually include them. So in your text editor, open up your project. Uh, again, you might not be using a text editor. You might be using an IDE of some sort. Uh, perfectly all right. So I've opened up my project. I'm going to go to www, and I'm going to open up index.html. So you, we have to go ahead and include the three files that we copied over. So starting with the CSS file, you want to go ahead and add that above style.css because style.css is all of our custom CSS as well as our overrides. So we want to do that, make sure that that's the last CSS file in our project. So we're going to say link href equals and then it's uh, CSS slash angular chart.css. All right. So we just included our CSS file. Now we want to go drop to where our app.js is, and above it, we want to first include uh, the chart.js library. So script source equals js slash, what do we call it here? Uh, it is chart with a capital C dot js. And below it, we want to go ahead and include the wrapper. So we're going to say script source equals JS, and we call it angular chart.min.js. All right, so it's now included into your project, uh, both physically and through code. And the final thing we want to do is we want to uh, inject it into our angular JS. So open up app.js found in your www.js directory, and go to angular module, and we want to type in chart. 
GIS. All right, so it's now ready to be used. So at this point, most of what we're gonna do, well, I think all of what we're gonna do is gonna be based off of the code example uh, on the Angular chart website. So to make things easy, we're gonna we're gonna do um, two graphs. We're gonna do a line chart, uh, which looks like this, and we're also gonna go and do a bar chart, which looks like this on the right. So we're gonna do these inside of cards, but before that, we need our data set. So we're gonna create a new controller called. We're gonna say in, inside of our app.js, we're gonna say dot controller. We're gonna call it example controller. And we're gonna say function and we're gonna inject scope and nothing more. Close that off. And let's go ahead and pick some of the sample data. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it from the Angular Charts website. And I'm gonna format it a little bit because it got messed up in the paste. And I'll explain every every piece of it in just a moment. All right. So as far as the pieces go, the labels are going to represent what we see in our x-axis of the chart. The series is how many data sets we're going to show. And then the data, because we have two series, we have two arrays now. So the first array represents series A, and the, se and the second array represents series B. We also have an on-click function, but we're going to go ahead and remove that because that's out of the scope of this tutorial. We only want to show charts. If you want to go ahead and look at the other API features, you're more than welcome to. So I'm going to save that. We have our, our sample data set. So going back into our index.html. Uh, because this drives me nuts the way that uh, everything is formatted in this file, I'm going to go ahead and fix everything as far as uh, indentation. Because I get a little nutty when I look at this stuff. All right, so now everything should be uh, equally indented. So where we're gonna do most of our work here is it's gonna be inside of the ion content tags. So we're gonna go ahead and include that controller, example controller, and now we're gonna add some, some code. So, so each of our charts is gonna show up inside of a card. So let's go ahead and make a card list here. So we're gonna say div class equals card. It's gonna have a header, so div class equals item, item divider. And it's gonna say, this is a line chart. And the body of this is gonna say, it's going to be, first of all, it's going to be a uh, class of item. And it's going to be item text wrap. And we're going to close this div. Uh, so what goes inside of this particular card body? Well, we're going to go back into Angular charts. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy the uh, canvas markup. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. But, of course, it, it doesn't get formatted correctly when I paste for some reason. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup myself. Alright, so I did my little bit of cleanup. Remember, we removed the on-click. We no longer care about that, so I'm going to remove it. So this is what a line chart looks like. So we're giving it an ID of line. The class is a chart and it's a chart line. The data is going to be mapped to our scope.data variable. The labels, of course, is going to be our scope.labels. Uh, we're deciding that we do want to show a legend, so we want to show which color represents series A and which color represents series B. And we also want to include our series. 
But that's not it. We're actually going to include some options uh, to make it a little more mobile friendly. So we're going to say options equals, and then this is going to be an object, and it's going to be show tool tips false. So to, to tell you what tooltips are, tooltips, see how when I'm hovering over each point on the, on the chart, it pops up. Although this will work for some versions of uh, Android and iOS, I don't believe it works with all. So if you don't absolutely need them, it's probably a good idea uh, to disable them uh, for the best performance of your app. And this option actually came from uh, the actual chart.js documentation. So you can pass in whatever options exist um, as far as chart options uh, inside of Angular charts. It works fine. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a second uh, chart. So let's go ahead and copy this to save us some typing. It's going to be the full card that we, that we just made. I pasted it and I'm going to say this is a bar chart. I'm going to change the ID to bar. I'm going to change chart line to chart bar. And again, I'm going to disable the tooltips. So what exactly does this look like? Let's go ahead and open it in our um, web browser because this doesn't use any native plugins. So it's perfectly all right to open in a web browser. So as we can see, uh, we, we do have uh, two charts here, pretty stretched out, but that's all right. Uh, when we hover and click over the dots, nothing happens, perfectly fine. So as of right now, everything looks good. So if we go to our terminal and we say Ionic build iOS, remember I'm doing iOS, but if you're not on a Mac, just go ahead and stick to Android. So I did, um, I, I'm building for iOS and now I'm going to emulate iOS. So Ionic emulate iOS. It's going to go ahead and open up the simulator for me. So as you can see, um, the charts overall look pretty good and and it's completely responsive chart.js and angular charts so uh, depending on your screen size it will adjust uh, to look good in any situation um, and you can you can add further modifications you can change the data set around you can you can pull your data in from some re remote uh, source it's entirely up to you uh, but you can see that it, it does look pretty good.